this is how you can create your very own npm package so let's go ahead and get started so before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel you can do so by joining a channel membership on youtube or a subscription over on discord on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will get access to that source code and over on youtube if you get the super god or custom bot tier you will also get access to that source code and of course on both platforms if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will be able to code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video so before we actually start with the code i would like to go ahead and explain npm packages and what they actually are so an npm package is basically a global function so a function is a block of code that you can create on your computer and then you can call it to run it so basically these are only existent within the file or the program that it's written on but an npm package allows you to have a function that is accessible in any project in any file anywhere in the world basically the other thing about npm packages is that they do not require hosting because they are functions they are downloaded as code to the actual program meaning they are hosted and ran by the actual program's host or the computer or anything that it's running on when it's being ran. So now that you know a little bit about NPM packages, we can actually start by coding one. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to npmjs.org here and you're gonna actually have to go ahead and create an account. So once you've created an account, that's pretty much all you have to do. You don't actually have to create anything special. You don't have to create any projects on the actual website. All you have to do is go ahead and create an account. It's gonna be a login or sign up up here. So just go ahead and create that account and once you're done, we can go ahead and move on. So the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're actually gonna go over to our desktop and we can go ahead and create a new file or a new folder. And we can just go ahead and call this npm package tutorial. And we can actually go ahead and open this up. So the first thing we can go ahead and do is we can open up our terminal using cmd right here. And then in our terminal, we're gonna go ahead and start by doing npm init. So we can go ahead and run that. And we're actually gonna go ahead and skip through everything. So just go ahead and click enter through everything and just go ahead and click yes or type yes. And then after doing that, go ahead and type code space dot. It's gonna go ahead and open up the coding application Visual Studio Code. Now, just keep in mind, I'm assuming you have a general understanding of a programming language because this is a Discord bot channel. So just make sure you do have an understanding of programming and a app you would use and all that stuff. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go ahead and create our SRC. And then within that, we can go ahead and create our index.js. Then outside of that, we can go ahead and create our readme.md. And then we can go ahead and start by going over into our package.json and we can go ahead and start by giving it a name. So the name I'm gonna go ahead and give it will be npm package tutorial guide or something like that. It's gonna be kind of complex because I'm assuming npm package tutorial is already taken. So we can go ahead and give it a description. This is gonna show up on the npm website when you're searching for it. So a YouTube tutorial on how to make packages. And we can go ahead and change our main to src slash index.js because that is where our index is. We can do src slash index.js and then that's actually all we have to do we are going to be coming back for this later because we're going to go ahead and change our version when we go ahead and update it but for now that's all we have to do the next thing that we can go ahead and do is within our readme you can go ahead and write out a readme so basically what this is is it's going to be a guide on how to use your package so if you want to go ahead and create source code examples or just basically what you need to input into your package function this is where you're going to put it it's going to be displayed on the actual npm website so that users have a guide on how to actually use the package so after you're all set up we can go ahead and move on actually i'm going to go ahead and just say readme so we can go ahead and see this later so we can go over into our index.js and we're going to go ahead and start by making an async function so we can access a wait and we can go ahead and give it a name so for me this is going to be reply because we're going to be making a simple reply function so then in here we can go ahead and get our options and we can open up an object and then we can go ahead and open this function up so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and start off by doing is we're going to go ahead and decide what options we need for the package so for example if you would like the package to be able to reply so as in when you run a command it goes ahead and sends a message to the channel you're going to need an interaction or let's say you want it to be a user info command you're going to need a member so we can go ahead and define that by saying if no options dot interaction then we can just go ahead and throw row and we can go new type error and we can go ahead and say you must input a valid interaction and we can go ahead and add an exclamation mark so that is an error that it's going to go ahead and display in the terminal 
of your project when you do not input the correct value into the function that you're using as this package. So we're gonna also go ahead and put in one more thing. This time we can just go ahead and do a string. So we can say if no options dot, we can do message. Then we can go ahead and throw a new type error and we can go ahead and say you must input a valid message just like that. So those are gonna be the options that we want to input into our function. So we can just leave it as is. So the next thing that we're gonna go in and do is we can actually go ahead and send a message. We can go ahead and say options.interaction.reply and we can just go ahead and say options.message. So we're gonna go ahead and reply with that string and because this is an await function, we can go ahead and use await there as well. So one other thing I would like to mention is you can actually use other NPM packages within your NPM package. So let's say you wanted to use discord.js to write an embed. You could do npm i discord.js, you could define the embed builder and then you could write an embed. For example, I created created a eight ball package. So it goes ahead and sends an embed and lets you click a button to roll that eight ball all using discord.js within my package. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and make a console log. So we can do console.log and we can go ahead and say our message. So we can do options.message. And if we wanted to, we could say our interaction, but we can go ahead and make it more simple by doing options.interaction. We can do author or user. And that way it's gonna go ahead and give us the user. And maybe we could even do ID so that we only get the ID in the console. So that's gonna go ahead and show us the inputs that we put in. So then that's pretty much all we have to do. You can make this function more complicated or less complicated if you like. For example, this is my package for spoofing messages. So it goes ahead and defines all of the valid information. And then it went ahead and created a webhook here. And then it went ahead and sent that webhook within the channel. And then after that, it went ahead and deleted the webhook and it deleted the correct webhook. So like I said, you can make this as complicated or as simple as you would like. That's up to you. And it also depends on what your package is supposed to be about. So the next thing we can go ahead and do is we can actually export what we need to export. For us, it's gonna be our reply function. So you can do module.exports and we can do equals. And there's two ways we can do this. So we can either say reply or we could go ahead and open up our curly braces and we can go ahead and say reply here. So the reason we would do this is if we have multiple functions that we need to require all at once. For example, when you do const and you get your slash command builder and your embed builder or whatever for discord.js, that is gonna be this. So if we were getting our package, we could do const and we would get reply and whatever other functions you created within this package. But for me, because I only have one function here, which is the reply function, all I have to do is go ahead and write in reply without those braces. So now all I have to do is const reply equals my function. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. So that's actually all we have to do to create the code for this. So we can go ahead and actually upload it. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna open up your terminal and you can go ahead and do npm login. So here we're gonna be logging in to the npm account. So you're gonna go ahead and input your username. So for me, that's this. And then you're gonna input your password for your npm account. Now, obviously I can input this in and it's not gonna go and show and you can also go ahead and input your email as well i'm not going to show that but you're going to go ahead and put in all of your login information for the npm account you created in the beginning of the video then after doing that it's going to go ahead and email you a one-time password that you can use to log in so just go into your email and get that one-time password and put that in there now for visual studio code it doesn't actually let you copy and paste it in so you might actually have to type it in but after doing that it's going to go ahead and log you in so now we can actually go ahead and register this so all you have to do is npm publish within that terminal. And once you're logged in, it's gonna go ahead and publish it and then it's gonna be done. So now it's published as version 1.0.0 as npm package tutorial guide as its name with the readme and the description of a YT tutorial on how to make packages. So let's say you wanted to update this. Let's say you went into the code and you wanted to also go ahead and log your options.interaction.user.username or something like that. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go over to your package.json and you're gonna wanna go ahead and change the version. So I'm gonna make it 1.0.1 .1, and then all you have to do is npm publish one more time within that terminal. And then after doing that, it's gonna go ahead and say that your version is now 1.0.1 .1 with that same name. So that's how you update it. Now, if I were to go ahead and do npm publish and try to publish it on this existing version, 
as you can see, it's going to not let me do that because you can't over publish a, a version that you already have. So that's pretty much all we have to do for the actual creation of the package itself. This is now a package that we can access. So we can actually go ahead and use it in our code. All right. So in our discord bot here, we can go ahead and create our package tutorial file and we can go ahead and make our commands. So we can do cons slash command builder, and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js. And then we can do module.exports and we can go open this up. We're going to get our data and we're going to get our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name. It's going to be package tutorial test. It doesn't really matter. We can set a description. We can say the same thing or just testing package tutorial. And we can add a comma here and then we're going to go ahead and open this up. So async execute and get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up. So in here, we're going to go ahead and start by actually getting our package. So we can open up our terminal and all we have to do is npm i and we can go ahead and get that same package name that we inputted before. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get it from the website. All I have to do is go here and we can go ahead and click on packages from my account here. And as you can see, I have four packages. So I have this one, which is a test package. I have the discord spoofer. I have eight ball. And then I have the package tutorial that we created. It. As you can see, it has that description there. And if we go ahead and open this up, it's going to go ahead and say the readme, which we put in. We put in the readme. It's going to go ahead and give me the code, the dependencies it has, and all of the versions. As you can see, it has the updated version and the first version we had as well. Now, keep in mind, all of these packages that you publish are actually public. For example, this is my testing package that I literally created one day ago and it's full of broken code because I was testing it when I was first doing this and it has 1,234 downloads on its own. So just keep in mind that your package may get downloads even if you don't actually want it to because it is a public package. All right, so we can actually go in and copy this name and we're gonna go in and put it within our code. So we can go back into the code and we can go ahead and finish that MPMI. So we can go ahead and paste that in there and it's gonna go ahead and install. So then after it installs, we can go ahead and close out of that and we can go ahead and define it. So we can do const reply equals and we can do require and we can go ahead and do npm package tutorial guide test whatever it is and as you can see it's going to go ahead and work because we did our module.exports and it has our package name in there so all we have to do is go ahead and fill this out so we can go ahead and do reply as our function and i believe we add message so we can input a string this is a test message and we had our interaction so we can get our interaction which is going to be our interaction so that's actually all we had for this now like i said you can make it more simple or complicated but that's all it requires so we can actually go ahead and run this command to test it out all right so over in the discord server we can go ahead and run our command so we can get our package testing this is the right one here and we can go ahead and run it and it's going to go ahead and say this is a test message so it actually went ahead and replied now we can actually go into the package code here and as you can see we went ahead and replied with our interaction here and we went ahead and put in the options.message now if we go back into the code as you can see here we inputted that exact same message within that function and we also input that interaction to reply to now if we look in our terminal here it's going to go ahead and say this is a test message it's going to go ahead and give me my id and my username which is all the things we console logged right here within our console log from our function all right so one other thing we can actually go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and completely remove this interaction so we do not have a valid option for our interaction and we can actually go ahead and try this again so in the discord server we can go ahead and run it here and as you can see here it's going to go ahead and give me a type error which we went ahead and created and it's going to go ahead and say you must input a valid interaction which is the exact words that we put into our package so that's how you can create your very own npm packages if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and if you're interested interested in coding you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video